What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and another video. Today, I'm gonna to be doing a waterfall open cup. So I've taken a five and a half ounce cup. I've cut a hole in the bottom of it. We're gonna layer our base coat, put this on it, and then layer our cool little colors over here inside of that cup. Lift it while dropping this side down to the table so that the colors just flow. So here's the colors. Silver, titanium white. We have a magenta, a violet, phthalo blue, cerulean blue, and a sky blue. The base is gonna be this onyx black here, and I'm, I'm excited. All the colors are mixed with two parts pouring medium to one part paint. Pouring medium is the same as I've been using. It's the Artist Loft pouring medium, which is right here. And the silicone that I'm using in all of the colors except the base is my coconut milk hair serum. And with that, we're just gonna do it. All right, so I wanna have a nice white outer edge and I feel like if I can get the white in here that will accomplish that first then we're gonna alternate dark and light creating some contrast getting some cool color combinations mm-hmm so how's everybody doing today I hope everybody's doing great I'm having a wonderful day just went out to a nice breakfast with the family and it was awesome um, it's a beautiful day here in Phoenix I think 95 is the high, so that is awesome. There's just something about these colors together, you guys, that really speak to me. I really love these cooler colors. Have some of this silver here. I'm just gonna let it go in there real quick. Let's see what's going on. All right. I'm gonna let some titanium white churn through. Ooh, that's going to be beautiful, you guys. I'm telling you. It's going to offer just enough contrast with that black background. So I think it's been a couple years since I've done a waterfall cut pour. So that's why I'm kind of like excited about it because, you know, I haven't done it in a while. And we got to have more of this cerulean blue because that's a fantastic color, you guys. Beautiful color. The cells are already starting to get made. And we already have plenty of paint. But I want to be able to adjust the composition to whatever I want it to be. So that's why I'm using a little bit extra. All right, let me get these clean colors out of the way. And I think I'm going to add a little bit more black because it's going to quickly try to roll over this black that's down already but if i give it something to travel over then we're good see now comes the waterfall part so i'm gonna just slowly lower and allow it to flow and let the colors just pour out from underneath the cup and I'm letting it flow and then stopping the flow, adjusting the angle to control how fast it pours out. Wow, guys, those are pretty colors together. Oh, yeah. I like that. That's beautiful. All right. So. Let me put it back on the cups to stop it from flowing because I want to be able to get a good look at it and see what's going on. Did a little swipe to get this mocked up open cup off the edge, creating some cool color transparencies there. And now we're going to bring all these cells to the surface. There is also quite a few bubbles in it, so we're we're just slowly heating up the surface. I'm trying to avoid using the torch if I can, but if I can't, then I can't, and that's fine too. Oh man, look at those little cells growing in this thing. That's pretty. All right, so we've got some pretty good stuff going on over here. So maybe I'm ready to start my tilt. Hmm. Let me bring this all the way to that corner, and we're, we're just doing it slowly, trying to not distort 
the cells too, too much. The slower you go, the more control over the roundness of the cells you have. I've seen a lot of people, they try to tilt really fast and sometimes I do it too when I'm getting to that corner, but I just want it to get over the edge. And you'll see me tilt pretty quick. Kind of like right there. And then I bring it back. Yeah, these colors are gorgeous. It's been a couple days since I've gotten to paint, so I'm trying to get everything ready for the classes that are coming up on the November and 3rd, which I'm very excited for. There's only like a couple seats left, so there's a lot of you guys coming. Some of you guys coming from Canada, some of y'all coming from California, um, Maine, New Mexico, Florida. It's going to be such a good time. I can't wait to like meet you guys in person. It's going to be so cool. All right. Let me bring this back to the center just a little. All right. Now let me get my cup back where it should be. And maybe grab a paper towel or two if I got any up here, which it looks like I don't, which is strong. No, I do. They're right there. Wipe off the old hands. Because, yeah, look at that. Magenta is just flying to the surface. That's beautiful. Beautiful. All right. Now, let's heat up these layers again and see what we can get out of there. Major There's still some bubbles, so maybe we will pop bubbles too. That would be nice. Wow, look at those little beautiful cells just popping up everywhere. That's so nice. Everywhere we heat it up, it heats up the oil and allows it to push through the layers. Oh man, look at that. That is beautiful. There's really not too much white. I guarantee you there's white underneath though. There's gotta be. Because we did use it, we used a decent amount of white. Not a ton, like a ton of it, but we did use a lot. All right. Well, dang, that's like a little purple river. That's cool. And then I like the areas that didn't get cells, where it's just kind of a milky gradient going through it. You guys, I, I really like this one. I don't know. What do you guys think? Well, let me bring you guys down. We'll check it out. I'm excited about this though. I think it's gonna dry really good. Look at this gorgeous little area here where there aren't any cells. I like that. And then we have all these tiny little baby cells. You have like a little cell inception going on over here. It's very natural and organic looking and I absolutely love it. This thing dried so nice. Of course, there's that little bit of texture, but with a nice coat of varnish, everything is gonna be absolutely gorgeous. Look at these tiny things. Look at these little tiny details. If you want to watch another video just like this, click the screen right now and I'll see you there.